In Shu, after the death of Liu Bei, his son Liu Chan becomes emperor. Zhuge Liang and the other ministers support him and make plans to restore the country to its former strength. After repelling the Wei invasion, they also succeed in conquering the troublesome Nanjong tribes. Elsewhere, Wu successfully repels the Xu attack on Yiling. When Zhuge Liang once more proposes an alliance, they accept. All of this was simply to oppose Wei, who continued to seek to conquer the entire land. While all this had been happening, Wei had focused their efforts on domestic affairs and increased their own strength in order to be ready for the upcoming showdown with Wu and Shu. Fei has suffered frequent attacks from Wu, but Master Cao Chiu's skill battlefield management has been able to repel each one. Morale has been waning amongst the Wu troops, and a number of them have already defected to our side. Cao Chiu has been fighting for us since my father first raised troops. He's not likely to go down without a fight. <coughs> My lord! There's no need to worry. I must have caught a cold. However, as our leader, we cannot have you pushing yourself too hard. Sima Yi, attending to our domestic affairs is our most pressing business. There is no time for me to rest. We cannot afford to follow the failures of the Han court. Zhang He, what is Xu currently up to? Shu has pacified the lands of Nanjiang and brought stability to the region. If we present an opening to them, they will strike us without hesitation. However, we also enjoy great stability. I doubt they will ever find the opening they seek. In that case, we should be safe from attack for another ten years. However, we cannot afford to leave them be for such an extended period of time. We need to find a way to rid ourselves of them once and for all. Your Highness, I consider Wu to be the more immediate threat. Lu Xun has been named Governor General. His talent rivals that of Zhao Yu and Lu Meng. Well, that reduces our time frame even further. Sima Yi, I want you to go to Shochun and watch Wu's movements. Report back to me with your findings. Now, I must be leaving for Shochun. In regards to that, Master Sima Yi, I have been hearing a troubling rumor. It seems Master Cao Chou has been working together with the former Wu officer Zhou Feng to attack Shi Ting. What? Zhou Feng not only sent Master Cao Chou a total of seven letters, but he also even cut his hair in front of him while weeping profusely in order to prove his loyalty. I hear that Master Cao Chou was greatly moved by Zhou Feng's actions and accepted his surrender. Yes, he is too kind to people. Or perhaps it's better to say that he is too honest and trusting. <laughs> you can say that again. Although, uh, Master Sima Yi, does this story concern you as much as it does me? Shiting is the perfect spot to place an ambush. If one ventures too far into it, they may be surrounded by the enemy. If Zhou Feng's surrender was merely a ruse... Hmm. Yes, Zhou Feng's actions do seem rather suspicious. You say he sent seven letters and even cut his beloved locks? It seems a bit excessive to me. 
Well, at any rate, we shall stick to our original plan and head to Shochun. There is little point in worrying about that matter now. We shall ascertain the details upon our arrival. this about Lord Sal P. He loves fruit, especially grapes. He even wrote a poem about how good they are. He loves wine too and drinks a lot of it. And then what does he cure his hangover with? Grapes! Ah, he's just like his father. is the capital of the Han. It may have been corrupted by the foul Dong Zhuo, but the town and our pride will never be lost. for you.
Ah, Master Tsao Cho. I am relieved to see that you are safe. I am grateful for you rescuing me. However, I am afraid to show my face to anybody. My foolishness led me to be deceived by Zhou Feng and put my allies in danger. You should not be so hard on yourself, Master Tsao Cho. The enemy simply use their craftiness to take advantage of your trusting nature. Indeed. Furthermore, the battle is not over yet. We must save as many allies as we can and defend Shou Chun. Master Man Chong, Master Shu Huan, I cannot thank you enough. I must put my regrets behind me and keep pressing forward. I shall overcome the enemy and eliminate the threat facing our forces. It was my fault for believing Zhou Feng. That is why I must defeat Lu Xun and win back everybody's trust. Alright, I need everyone to defend this area. This battle is over. Lay down your weapons and surrender immediately. <laughs> 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 Resistance is futile! Our fake surrender will work, even if we retreat. The way camp will soon fall. The mind shall vanquish the soul. Well done. You have the heart of a warrior. Push your soul. Wow, you're better than I thought. <laughs> All right, I need everyone to defend this area. <sighs> the enemy's really not gonna go down without a fight. I'd better fall back if I'm hoping to rejoin this fight. <laughs> Amazing performance. I'm glad we're on the same side. Prepare to be punished. Be gone from my sight. Resistance is futile. The mind shall vanquish the soul. We should not risk it any further. We had the advantage here, but I failed. I'm sorry. Well done. You have the heart of a warrior. Ah, never underestimate the strength of one backed into a corner. I must retreat for now. Somehow, we made it out of that predicament. I imagine the enemy is quite disappointed things didn't turn out the way they planned. Sure. Oh. Oh, that was too easy.
enemy is on its way here. Take defensive positions. The battle has been decided. Surrender. I shall fight you. Until we drive off Wu's main unit. The Wu army has pushed this far ahead. What are those imbeciles on the front lines doing? My lord, you must not allow pride to cloud your mind. It is far too early to be laughing yet. <laughs> See to its defense. Oh, that was too easy. <laughs> don't get too carried away, my dear. I don't want to see you get yourself hurt. Men of the Way Forces, there is nowhere left to hide. Come out and face us in honorable battle. The mind shall vanquish the soul. Wow, you're better than I thought. This is this is good time. All right, I need everyone to defend this area. We had them right where we wanted them. But somehow they managed to overcome us anyway. Somehow I survived. Now, to raise troops and head to Shoujun! Uh, that was too easy. <laughs> Such a fine display of the martial arts. spirit is waning. Now it's our turn to take the fight to them. Report! Reinforcements from the captain base have been cut off! We need them to get here quickly. I do not want to lose the advantage we have over the enemy forces. Our rear auxiliary unit has been wiped out? We're on our own out here. We have the 
the advantage. Let it slip away. I was overly confident in our victory. All right, our army is victorious. It is thanks to your efforts that we have removed the stain from our name. Thanks to everybody's help, we were able to defend Shochun. However, our losses were quite severe. I shall return to Luoyang and accept whatever punishment Master Cao Pi has in store for me. Master Cao Cho? I bring news from Luoyang! Our Imperial Highness has passed away! Wh what? Master Cao Pi is gone! Master Sima Yi, what should we do? Hmm. Once they hear word of our Emperor's passing, Wu and Shu will surely move to attack us. We must come up with a plan before then. Master Man Chong, can I entrust you with the preparations against Wu? Yes, of course. I shall gather up our men and reform the defensive lines. I shall defend Shou Chun as well. I am certain that Master Cao Pi would want me to do so. Everybody else, I want you to prepare our defenses against Shu. Now, I must quickly make my way to Shang'an. <laughs> 